Hello guys, it's Deezer HD here. Um, I've got a tutorial for After Effects on some render settings that someone asked me in uh, a message they sent me on YouTube. And uh, I just thought I'd do the tutorial for them. Um, I'm not sure if any of you want some render settings for Cinema 4D or anything, but I can do some if you want. Just put them as a comment request on this video if you actually want some for Cinema 4D. And uh, let's get right into the tutorial now. The first thing you want to do is go over to After Effects. I've got it up just here. Uh, I've got nothing open at all. We just want to get into our project tab up here. And then just I've got some clips here just for editing and stuff. Let's just get a random clip here. Let's just drag it in. I'm just going to use this one clip for now. We don't actually really need um, any specific clip for this tutorial. And what I'm going to do is just drag it down into this black box here which creates a new composition. And I'm not going to add any effects, I'm just going to make sure that it's big enough so it just fills the actual frame. As on a HD PVI you can see that it's got a little black edge so it's just hold shift and it keep it in proportion. And um, basically when you've edited it, you've done everything to it, you've got your final comp set up and etc. Go to add to render queue just on composition here, add to render queue. And then what you want to do is render settings here, you just leave that as best settings, that's what I do. And I go to output module. If you've got sound, obviously you want to click audio output. And um, I usually just leave these settings, you don't really need to edit any of these. That's what, I don't really edit any of them at all. Um, but with the video, in our quick time options of the video, so say if we were going, we've got it as a quick time, go format. Here, what I would do is I'd go into video codec and I'd put it in H.264. Or if you're on Windows, download XVID. I'll show you it now on my browser. XVID. This uh, codec download. You download that, then you restart After Effects and go into your render settings, etc. So you can only see you can get it on Windows here, operating system. Um, so and then here it will say xvid and it compresses it so your file size is uh, not as big at all because usually when you render just straight from After Effects say in just animation you get um, your file sizes come out say it's like 2 gigabyte, 5 gigabyte, they're massive but if you put it as h.264 uh, they they will reduce a lot more, a lot more so um, and it, even more with xvid I've found when I used to have a Windows computer so um, that's all cool. Then you just click OK and then OK again. But um, I leave everything else. That's basically what I do. It's only a very short tutorial because when we dragged it down into the new composition, it's got the exact right length of the clip here. Um, it's got the exact frame size, but obviously we had to just adjust it a bit. And that's practically all I had to do for the render settings. And then you just go, go back into your render queue tab just here. You choose an output path, let's just say desktop, and click save, but then you have to click render just here, and it'll just take a couple of seconds to render, as you can see it's quite quick with no effects at all. I'm using like, I think I'm using like 3, uh, letting it use like 4 gig of RAM or something, which is what I've actually, all I've got, so it does render a lot quicker, but it does make my whole computer lag, so I'm sorry if my voice is lagging at all, but you can see it says we've got a um, elapsed here is 23 seconds 24 and there's one minute left it's more than halfway so it's obviously this is quite a quick render setting as well so it's not exactly a really long one that's going to take ages and ages and it keeps your file sizes really small which I'll show you in a second let me just wait for this to render last the last tiny little bit there we go you can hear that noise when it renders I'm just going to quit and then not going to save it and uh, just close this down and as you can see it's now on my desktop and we can go to we can see it's a, a lot smaller than like 5 gigabytes you can see where is it here 221 megabytes obviously that's still quite a large file but um, it will run a lot smoother say on Windows Movie uh, Player or QuickTime because if you've got a 5 gig file loading it takes a very long time so um it will load a lot quicker from when you have um say if I was to load this up now, you can see it loads quite quickly. Just turn the volume down. 
So it plays absolutely fine. The quality is like perfect. If I put it in full screen, look, it's still 720p. It looks great. Well, obviously it looks a bit stretched on my screen because I'm running at 2,560 pixels. So uh, <laughs> with by 1440, so it's going to be a bit uh, stretched on my screen, I'm afraid. But on your screen, it should be absolutely perfect quality. And um, just what do you think of this new background? I'm using Geek Tool here, which is a, an application. It's just this one here. Like you, you add the time, etc., which is pretty cool. But all of this, like HD stuff, that's an actual background I've made. And uh, say if you've got a Mac and you want a tutorial for that, it take like two minutes. Like you know, with a glow around here and coming from the top, etc. And this uh, fuzzy ball, uh, that I can do a tutorial for that if you want. It takes like two minutes. Um, with like the nice depth of field going across it. So if you want any of these tutorials, if you want my background, do you want any geek tool uh, tutorials, you want this hair tutorial, uh, if you want any Cinema 4D render setting tutorials, anything like that, honestly just leave the comments and I'll do my best. Um, so at the moment I'm having a bit of like a mental block I think, which uh, I just don't know really. I've, I've been on Cinema 4D, messed around with some texturing, some lighting, just practicing really. But obviously I haven't brought out any more animations recently, so um, yeah, just let me know what you want to see, and I'll do my best to do them. Uh, cheers guys, peace.